Welcome to another episode of You Gonna Learn Today. On this episode, we're talking about two flags that Black people should know and be able to discuss intelligently. It's important to not only know these flags from a visual perspective, it's also equally important to know the symbolism behind them and the historical actors involved with their cultivation. Let's get into it. The Black American Heritage flag has its genesis in March of 1967 and was created by Melvin Charles and Gleason T. Jackson. The idea was born out of a need for flag representation. Charles and Jackson noticed that other ethnic groups had flags to represent their heritage, and yet Black Americans had no such representation. The men felt a flag should exist that symbolized the Black culture that was created in America after the Atlantic slave trade that took place between the 16th and 19th century. Charles and Jackson created a design representing resilience, power, and unity, and the time and love that went into developing America's black culture. The design of the flag is ripe with meaningful illustration, and here's what it represents. The details are one diagonal black stripe centered between two red stripes. Superimposed on the black stripe is a blunted Moorish sword surrounded by golden wreath of fig leaves. The sword harkens back to the Moorish leaders of the 8th century and represents the strength and authority exhibited by black culture that made many contributions to the world. The wreath of fig leaves represents the sustainment of life even under unimaginable conditions. The cultivated fig, which is native to Africa and ranks as one of the most ancient of life-sustaining fruits. The color red represents the blood shed by African Americans for freedom and equality in America. The color black represents pride in the black race, and the color gold represents intellect, prosperity, and peace. The original Juneteenth flag is the brainchild of activist Ben Haith, founder of the National Juneteenth Celebration Foundation. Haith created the flag in 1997 with the help of collaborators and Boston-based illustrator Lisa Jean Graff, who brought the vision to life. The flag was revised in 2000 into the version we know today, according to the National Juneteenth Observation Foundation. Seven years later, the date, June 19, 1865, was added, commemorating the day that Union Army Major General Gordon Granger rode into Galveston, Texas, and told enslaved African Americans of their emancipation. According to Haith, designing the flag and its symbols was a deliberate process. Here are their meanings. The white star in the center of the flag has a dual meaning. For one, it represents Texas, the Lone Star State. It was in Galveston in 1865 where Union soldiers informed the country's last remaining enslaved people that under the Emancipation Proclamation issued two years earlier, they were free. But the star also goes beyond Texas, representing the freedom of African Americans in all 50 states. The bursting outline around the star is inspired by Nova, a term that astronomers use to mean a new star. On the Juneteenth flag, this represents a new beginning for African Americans of Galveston and throughout the land. The curve that extends across the width of the flag represents a new horizon, the opportunities and promise that lay ahead for black Americans. The red, white, and blue represent the American flag, a reminder that slaves and their descendants were and are Americans. June 19, 1865 represents the day that enslaved black people in Galveston, Texas became Americans under the law. The goal is not for you to just merely know of the flags, but rather to be able to discuss the flags in depth and intelligently. Now you know.